Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Mike Marshall. I'm with uh, Ben Zinga on the product and sales team, and I got uh, Brent Slava here with me. Hello, everyone. Uh, so yeah, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, talk a little bit about uh, screening and evaluating stocks, uh, long and short positions. Uh, you know how to diversify your portfolio. And, uh, you know, if we have any questions, we, we would love to make sure we answer those for you guys. Keep the questions coming in. Absolutely. Even if it's like, hey, can you just repeat that real quick? That's totally fine. We want to tailor these webinars to you guys and gals. So throw the questions at us. Please keep them coming. Uh, so, uh, Brent, last yes. week uh, you, you came into our webinar a little bit late, and uh, you told us all that uh, you were uh, a little sorry, but uh, you were you were in the middle of breaking sorry. some news. Sorry, everyone out there. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the news that you were breaking? So, we did have some breaking news uh, as of, what day is that, Thursday last week? Yep. Thursday, the webinars are every Thursday out there, so you can hear that. Uh, so we had uh, uh, some breaking news that we were working on. We were working on getting the headlines out there. We had a rep uh, reporter who was working on the story at the same time. The news that I was late for the webinar for was related to Amazon and Dish. And if you investors out there haven't heard about this now, we'll pull it up real quick and I can kind of talk about, you know, a little bit of some of that information. We can look at you know, how you can use Benzin Crow to get this information, and we can also look at, you know, how the stock reacts and stuff like that. So, you pulled up Benzin Crow. Excellent. Mike, yep. right? Got that right here, and this is our, our new feed. New so feed, there you go. Just click this say. new feed icon. Cool. And uh, thing pops up, right? Yep. And so, we got a, a running, scrolling, real time news feed that, that pretty much covers uh, the, the U.S. equities. Correct. Yep. Mostly. We are very focused on U.S. equities. Um, if there is a foreign company, overseas company that has some news and there is also like a U.S. listed ticker, we're going to cover it. Um, but for the most part, we don't cover a ton of international. We don't cover a ton of bond stuff. We don't cover uh, a ton of commodity stuff. But if there are implications for U.S. equities, we're going to we're going to cover it. So. What you can do here, Mike's got the, the wheel right here. Mike, click over into your search field, and let's just search by ticker. So search the uh, ticker DISH, D-I-S-H, Delta India Sandy Hotel. And it's pretty easy to spot the news, right? You can see these red headlines. What do the red headlines signif signify? Well, on, uh, there you go, that'll help. So, uh, on the news team, there are all these categories here. These are the these are the ways that the reporters on the team classify news items. It might be a dividend news item, it might be M&A news item. Our highest level, I would say, categories are these three that you're sort of highlighting right now. And you can notice they're already highlighted red. When you open your Benzing Pro platform, these three categories are going to be highlighted red by default because the reporters on the team want you to notice these headlines. So we have three categories, market movement exclusives, exclusives, and high. And as you guys notice, uh, right above the word categories here uh, is a little snapshot of what each of these are. So if you are curious and you want to know like what qualifies a market update for us, you can just hover over it and you will see a little snapshot of what that is. Sweet. So you mouse over hot right now. What is hot? Hot is going to be one of your top news items of the day. There might be a hot story for the day on any given day. There might be zero. There might be 10. It's basically what the reporters on the team deem as some of the top news items of the day. So in that case, go back real quick. This was hot news compounded with dish ticker. So the last one happened to be April 17th. Uh, what exclusive is, is a, a one level lower than market movement exclusive. Exclusive is when one of our reporters on the team reaches out to uh, a source, an analyst, uh, a money manager, and that money manager, that sell side person wants to provide us some commentary. You can't get that commentary anywhere else. You have to use Benzinga and you have to use Benzinga Pro to get that commentary. Market movement exclusive is the last one is our highest level exclusive commentary. It's exclusive commentary that you can only get via Benzinga and Benzinga Pro 
and we feel that the news is so groundbreaking that we have kind of branded it in the aspect that we think a stock or a market is going to move on. So let's click. Let's just let's just make an example here and, and click market movement exclusives actually. So we can limit it even more here. You know, when you typed in the ticker dish, there was kind of a, a few headlines that you had to go through to see the red headline. You can see it's kind of down there because we've had a lot of other news items on dish since then. Click market movement exclusive again. Again, it's going to filter it by these two things that you're you're sourcing right now, right here. This channel plus this ticker. So quickly talking about the news items. So we have have a, a closed source. We like to call the source someone that is very close to the company, someone that's familiar with the company's dealings. Uh, we were able to verify the source. We're confident in the source. The source suggested that Amazon and Dish, and, and it's kind of crazy, but I'll sort of explain it really quickly, could do some kind of further deal. They already have a partnership. There could be some kind of extension of their current partnership, possibly even a merger. And I know a few of you out there are probably going, why would Amazon ever want to buy a dish? They're in totally different segments. Well, we uncovered some kind of cool information. So dish has the, the top quality spectrum, wireless spectrum right now. They are the owners of a portion of 5G wireless spectrum. It's the highest level wireless spectrum that I'm aware of right now. And Amazon potentially could be interested in using Dish's wireless spectrum for some of their media, for some of their delivery. Like for example, Amazon potentially, we've all heard that Amazon might use drones for delivery one day. Everyone's going, I don't know about that, that's kind of weird. They could use Dish's spectrum, high level spectrum, to control their drones a little bit, a little bit better and actually provide stuff like same day delivery wow. with drones. Wow. So some cool implications here, and again, we had uh, a source close to uh, the company here, and you know, this is why I was kind of late last week. So sorry, everybody, but I think you said it, Mike. This is a pretty good reason to be late. Absolutely, absolutely. And and then just kind of seeing over here uh, what happened to the stock, uh, you know, the the previous morning. Uh, you know, this is after hours. Uh, you know, after the session. Yep. So it looks like here. Uh, it closed at about uh, 60, what is that, 63? 63, let's call it 63.50-ish. Yep, and you know, it, it, Sorry, 60, what was that, go back, I'm not that, it was about 64. About 64, 64 bucks, it, yep. and, it, and it opens up at 9.30, you know, at, at two, 60. Two bucks higher, so. Yeah, so you, great opportunity for anyone that is on the Benzinga Pro platform to, you know, gain a great edge with, you know, just the market moving exclusive <clears throat> channel. And, you know, I'll say this about a lot of our content. Like I said, we're confident in our source. We've sort of vetted the source. However, we don't always necessarily want you to be making decisions right away on some of the stuff. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we think that you can, you know, go out and buy a stock right away after you post the headline. Um, for something like this, you want to do your own homework. You know, we're giving you a, a little insight here, something that we heard, something that we believe could happen. Uh, go do the work yourself. Do your own research. Let Benzinga Pro and the news team at Benzinga sort of be the thing that kind of like starts some of your research. Awesome. And, uh, you know, before we, we dive into how to start some of your research, uh, you know, I see that uh, Alex is, is uh, joining us today. He raised his hand. What's up, Alex? Uh, you know, if you do have any questions, uh, please drop it into the chat. I uh, can't, unfortunately, uh, send you any messages other than lower your hand. So if you do have any questions, Alex, please uh, send it into the chat. Uh, you can send it directly to us, and we will make sure to get to it. And that goes to anybody else? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, you know, you, you just said something there, uh, Brent, yes. uh, you know, how to get started with, uh, so say you, you already have a few stocks or, or you're already investing, uh, you know, and, and you maybe have a financial advisor and, and you're kind of thinking about uh, starting to, to get, get involved in a little investing yourself, maybe yep. starting to manage some of your own money, do a little possible day trading. Uh, would this be a good platform to get you started on that? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was kind of a loaded question, I feel. 
Okay, so, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess, you know, talking to a lot of the users that use Benzinga uh, and Benzinga Pro, there's there's a Which wide variety of them. Uh, anywhere from, you know, the, the seasoned day trader to uh, a, a lot of them that are just kind of getting into trading or wanting to learn a, a lot about it. Okay. So, uh, you know, they they most likely have heard of a, a handful of stocks and, and are, are thinking about taking some positions in those. Yep. So what, what would be some things to, to help them out with? Okay, so I'm going to break this kind of discussion into a couple points. Let's talk about uh, researching news items that already happened and researching upcoming news items that you need to know about. Great. Is that this clear? That would be excellent. Okay, cool. So let's uh, give me a stack. Uh, you know, uh, I could do a little Facebook action. You want to do Facebook? All right, let's see. So what am I doing here? I'm just using my search field. Super simple. I type in the ticker, and even if you don't know the ticker, you can type in the company name, and Benzinga Pro is going to suggest for you the ticker. So what I just did right here is I'm just filtering my feed right now by only Facebook headlines. We were kind of playing around with this a little bit earlier when we were looking at Dish. Um, here it is with Facebook, and how you can use this is just a track record of all of the recent news items. How I personally use this a lot of times, I do a ton of research. I'm not a trader. I don't trade in real time off of some of the headlines that hit Benzinga Pro, but I do a ton of research on Benzinga Pro. And how I use this is to, if I can, correlate news items with price action in the stock. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's open another one of these widgets over here. All of these buttons on the side here are called widgets. There are different features of Benzinga Pro. You can have a news feed, you can have uh, some details about the company, you can have a calendar, etc. Let's open the details widget because that will give us a chart. So I'm going to click details. You see it pops up over here. If you want, you can kind of swing around the size if, if, you, if you so want to. So notice one thing. I clicked over here on the uh, side widget and it popped up over here. From If I do that, I'm going to have to type in the ticker to pull up to get me to that details page. However, there's another way I can do it. If I close this, just to show you, just to make an example, and if I click this button right here, it'll pop open the details page for that stock. So what I'm thinking here is, you know, you, you see a lot of news items coming across. Um, if you think that something's notable in the feed here, what you might want to do is pull up a chart and see if that news item impacted the stock. You can kind of get a little bit of color on what kinds of news items move which stocks. So, you know, uh, some stocks just honestly don't move on news items. Google is a really good example of a stock which really the only kind of news item that it moves on is earnings reports. So, um, what you can do here is using Benzinga Pro, you can find news items, you can try to correlate them with some price action, and you can at least get more familiar with what kind of news items are moving the stocks that you already had on your radar that you already want to uh, keep track of. So um, let, me let me close this real quick. Um, why don't we try to uh, kind of compound some of these searches here. So remember I got uh, Facebook as my search here. I'm only seeing Facebook headlines. I can click over to this filters button on the, in the upper right hand corner and I can start categorizing news. If I want to see uh, some M&A news that Facebook might have had. I can click M&A and it's going to only show me news items that are tagged Facebook and M&A. If I want to see if there's, any been, if there's been any rumors on Facebook, I can click this one. And let's see, I'm not sure how this is, what kind of results we're going to get here. Um, but you can see there are a few, you know, quite a few rumors on Facebook, it turns out. And what you're looking at here, uh, in most of the case, you're looking at headlines. Um, you can, for some of these, you can click open uh, a headline and it'll show you some more details. In this case, the body is a citation of some of the sources that we're getting this stuff from. Um, you can also use the platform. I'm trying to find you a headline, uh, a story here. You can also use Benzinga Pro to get stories that are being published to Benzinga.com. Benzinga Pro headlines are going to be, you know, five to 20 words, maybe a little body. Benzinga.com stories are going to be like a full-length article. It's kind of a traditional article. It's the articles that you're used to reading. It you know, takes you through a little bit more of a story. 
Um, this one right here is going to be a story. I can tell because I just know about this article. And basically what this article is doing is just highlighting all of the M&A chatter from this day. It happens to be that Facebook was involved here. Excellent. So yeah, you could, what you can do on the, the Benzinga Pro platform is basically customize your, your search. Make sure that uh, you know, the noise of the market isn't too overwhelming and you're only seeing information that is specific to, you know, those stocks that you're already interested in. And you can, I think, thanks for saying that, you kind of gave me another thought here. If you are an options trader, let's say, you are a rumor trader, you happen to be, you know, a trader who really uh, likes this volatility that rumors create, you can do, let's go over the settings widget here. And you can, you know, just what Mike was saying, you can really customize the feed uh, to only be showing you the stuff that you want and kind of moreover uh, highlighting the stuff that you want to see in different ways. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click to my settings. I'm going to click to my news feed setting tab. And what we have here is a bunch of uh, themes. So remember we talked about those three channels earlier. You can see they're already set as a theme by default, a red. You know, it's a hotter news item. We want you to notice it. You can set a theme. I hit add theme here. Uh, click on this drop down menu. Here's a bunch of the sources that we use. Uh, here's a bunch of the news categories that you use. If you, again, are a rumor trader, let's say, I'll click rumors here and I can set all of these headlines that are tagged Facebook plus rumor to any kind of color I want. So let's say I want those to be kind of this nice little purplish blue. Uh, how about options? We got some options traders out there, I'm sure. Options are a top reason why, why people love Benzing Pro. So let's set some customization here real quick. I don't really like that green, so I'm going to kind of make it this potentially uglier color. <laughs> <laughs> um, mustard yellow. Yeah. So I'll turn off rumors. So let's see if we can spot a couple of these really quickly. Well, there's a exclusive headline. Um, here's a rumor related to Facebook. Let's see if we got any options alerts. There's an option alert face, uh, related to Facebook. And so something I want people to notice over here is a different wire code. So this little text right here is considered the wire code. It's trying to indicate to you where this headline or story is coming from. Benzinga wire means a headline hand typed out by a Benzinga Pro reporter or a Benzinga.com reporter, a full length story. This code over here signals. What's different about signals? is everything that is coming on benzene and wire is hand curated, hand typed out. Signals is our automated part of benzene and pro. Signals contains dramatic price action. It might be over a near term uh, time frame, like a few seconds to a couple minutes. It might be over five minutes. And so Mike uh, grabbed the mouse here and he's kind of going over here and we're just limiting by benzene and signals. And again, these are all automated. You don't have to wait for a benzene and pro reporter Type out a headline. There's effectively triggers that are running under uh, in the background, and the all, the signals is watching a ton of stocks numerous times a minute. It's looking at the price. It's looking at volume. If there's a dramatic price move, one of those triggers is going to fire automatically in here. It's going to be a fraction of a second. In addition to dramatic price move, there are also, as you can see here, block trades. There are also uh, option alerts, automated option alerts. There's also trading halts when uh, a stock is traded for uh, halted for news pending, that kind of thing. Let me see if I can show you uh, one of these real quick. Here's the halt. You can uh, see that you know Jive software was halted at this time. There's some kind of news coming out on it probably. Um, is there not, is there one that I'm forgetting? I said black trades, price Spiking. action, price action options. One, oh, you know what? 52 week highs and lows also. If you want to uh, track where a stock hit a 52 week high, you can also get that with Benzinga. Awesome. And so that kind of uh, starts leading into the next thing I wanted to cover. Okay. So we talked a little bit about, you know, uh, you know, if you already have a few stocks that you have been watching and, and you're thinking about uh, putting them in your portfolio, you know, what, what you should do to do a little research on them. Uh, but what what about uh, if you you know only have a couple stocks and you want to you know di diversify or or expand and and, cool. and get some trade ideas and, and you know uh, uh, kind of uh, pay start paying attention to a few more stocks out there. What, what cool. would be a, a good idea or, or a good 
option to do okay, that. Okay, so on this, this is a great question. It's not an easy question for a lot of news platforms, but it is an easy one for Benzinga Pro. That nice. Was, that was a setup. We didn't we didn't work that out before, but it, it just worked like that. So uh, a new feature, a relatively new feature I can show off here is over here on the left hand side widget is called the screener. It's gonna be what I think a few of you probably expected to be. Uh, pretty basic screener, but it, it, it is really effective. So let's start off at the top. So you're applying a filter here. Um, you can view stocks that are gainers and losers, both of them. Big price action to the upside or to the downside. You can view just gainers. You can view just losers. You can adjust your time frame. And again, the, the purpose here is we want to get new stocks on your watch list. We want to give you new ideas on where you can trade and where you can invest. This is a good answer. You can change it to 15 minutes. You can change it to 30 minutes, a little bit longer. You can change it over the last day. Uh, I think even a potentially newer feature, you can search by sector. This is something that I think just got implemented maybe like a few days ago. Nice. So uh, you can specify if you know you're only a tech investor, you can specify by that. Uh, what this little slider right here is showing you is uh, adjusting your market cap. Let's say you're only a small cap trader. You only want to see small cap stuff. You can move this down to 300 million and you can also specify the kind of price action that you want to see. So why don't we just say, you know, we'll limit a little bit here, see what kind of results we can get. And so you can filter, uh, excuse me, you can sort these columns sort of however you want to, if you want to sort alphabetically cool, I would recommend sorting by the change and I'll click it again. And now we're seeing uh, the top movers today in the segment that I've selected, which happens to be small cap and stocks that are moving less than 20 bucks or so in a given day. So who's the big mover here? It's a Valer Valeritas Holdings, ticker VLRI. And I'm going, well, I've never heard of that company before, but for some reason it was moving today. Again, kind of circling back around. We want to get new stuff on your radar and we want to get uh, you starting your own research. So what just happened right there, if, if ladies and gentlemen, if you've seen that, is I have the auto refresh on. It's going to auto refresh every minute. I can just turn it off here for a second. Click that. Oh, sweet. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Wow. And and yeah, just uh, to interrupt you here uh, before go we go further, uh, you know the reason we developed this feature, uh, this this scanner uh, screener feature, is because we had a overwhelming uh, demand for it. We had a lot of uh, you guys asking for for this feature, and so we, uh, you know, communicated with our development team and made sure to put it on the the development board. And and you know, here it is. So. I'm uh, trying to tell you guys that, you know, we need feedback from you on, yeah. on what you would like to see in the platform, uh, you know, what would uh, benefit a, your strategy, and, you know, we'll get to work on it. And that's, honestly, it's, it's, it's a differentiator when you're talking about Benzing. I hear you say this on the phone all the time, Mike, but a lot of the platforms out there that are helping you with research and real-time news, they're, they're good, you know, don't get me wrong or anything but they're not developing new things. They don't have new resources going into new features. On Benzing Pro, there is a new feature literally every week that is hitting, and they are the result of people reaching out to us, users reaching out to us and saying, hey, there's this part of another platform that I use that I really love. You guys don't have it. Is there a chance we could get in there? And you know, maybe we can have a really quick turnaround of a couple weeks on that, who knows? So please give us some feedback on stuff that is working for you stuff that's not working for you, um, stuff that you want to see in the platform that you'd be really excited about to have in the platform. Excellent. And one thing I, I am really excited about, we do have a feature uh, coming out here in about a week or two. And uh, I am uh, really excited for this feature. A little sneak preview. I, I'm, I'm not going to. You're not going to. I'm not going to. I'm oh not going to release it. Suspense. Uh, so you guys are going to have to stick around. I uh, guarantee it's going to be a game changer, so, uh, you know, stay stay with us, and uh, you guys will definitely be uh, well, utilizing it. I don't even know what this is, so I'm like, I'm interested now. Yeah, me interested. 
Awesome. Well, you, it, it will be, it, it's definitely exciting. It's, it's a feature that uh, was requested by me, actually. So I'm, I'm huh. really happy that we're, we're uh, I have no idea what this is going to be. Well, that, that is coming into the platform. So, <laughs> uh, you know, we're, we're kind of running out of time. We like to keep these things short. Uh, I know it's tough to, to sit here and, and just watch a couple guys, uh, uh, you know, Play around on the computer so uh, you know send us questions uh, let us know what you guys would like to learn about or, or would like to see on the, the Benzinga Pro platform or in the markets uh, you know so Brent is there anything that you'd like to, to leave leave them with um, in addition to stuff that you want to see on the platform also send us ideas on topics you would like to learn about for the webinar right if you know I, I only got to really briefly sort of mention options if you're an option trader and you want to find out better ways to use Benzing Pro to get options activity, send us in, send it into us, let us know that that's something that you want to see us talk about and we'll make it happen. We got a question? Got a question. Uh, okay, so we got a question from Alex. He's saying, if you develop the screener, how about a direction of XYZ stocks? I don't, I did not quite understand the question. Yes, X, Y, Z, I am not. I mean, I think he's saying an example of X, Y, Z. Yep. Um, are you saying, Alex, are you saying uh, an idea of where direction a stock can go? Let's see if that gives us a quick response here. Okay, so I, if you're asking this, if you if I'm understanding your question right, Alex, um, I'm not, Benzinga isn't, we don't want to make recommendations. We want to give you as many ideas on how you can do some of your own research. Um, I, I think the extent, I want to answer your question. So, you know, I think the extent of uh, the answer I can give you, click over to the news feed real quick, Mike. And we do have something called sentiment. So there is a little, Mike is mousing over a little green arrow right there. You see another little green arrow, you see another little green little arrow. Uh, what sentiment is, is an indication by the news team based on potentially historical context, uh, our own experiences in doing news for years, as to where a news item might impact the stock. So when you, you might just kind of quickly scroll through here, you're seeing a lot of green arrows, you're seeing some red arrows. Uh, uh, a reporter on the news desk, at the time of these headlines that you're seeing the little arrows attached to, made a call that this news item could mean the stock could go higher. Uh, it could be a good thing. It could be a good news item. So I, I, we, we can't give you recommendations, Alex, but uh, to try to answer your question, I think this might be um, as far as I can take you. Again, the sentiment right there that you're seeing is an indication of what could potentially happen to the stock based on a news item. The one that you're mouse over right now, Mike, it says new core cuts outlook. Generally, when a stock cuts guidance, it's going to be a bad thing for a news item. In this case, for this headline, we were able to indicate that when new car cuts guidance, the stock's probably going to go lower. Excellent. One more question coming in from Nick. Uh, yeah, thanks, Alex. Also, uh, you know, the the other thing that I just wanted to add, I, I'm where, cool, yeah. where Brent took it was was way different than nice. where I was going. Okay, where were you going? Uh, I was just going to say, you know, the only type of buy sell ah, recommendations yeah, yeah. that we do have as well are in our calendars. So when you go to calendars, uh, the default will always be today's earnings. So when you click on calendars, this is what your screen will look like, and then you can just select uh, the earnings button, and you have a, a whole slew here of different calendars that you can play with. Uh, analyst ratings. Uh, you can take a look at, you know, these analysts uh, and their recommendations. So uh, that is another uh, quick little way that you kind of can see some buy sell recommendations. So those are recommendations. They're not just to kind of like reiterate. They are not Benzinga. Yep. Buy these are sell. coming from these actual analysts. And, and to be honest, these are the people that you want to listen to for the most part. We're not experts on, you know, the one that you're on right now is San Mina. I know the company. I've done news on the company for a while, but I don't I don't really know the company. This Bank of America analyst knows the company a heck of a lot better than I do. You, you want to listen to them versus me as far as getting some recommendations. And also, <laughs> the, you know, with that, you can, you know, filter out so you could see all of just from certain analysts as well. So if you got a favorite analyst or yep. whatever, for example. Cool. Perfect. 
A couple other questions coming in. I like questions. Absolutely. Thanks for Nick and Tony for the questions. Appreciate it. So Nick requested a little bit of uh, historical line charts by the screener. Um, I think that so it's not by the just to try to get you an answer, Nick. It won't be by the screener, but you can open a widget, and it'll effectively do the same thing. You can open a details widget, and there's your chart. So if you have these two, I know it's not exactly what you're looking for. It's something we can definitely think about, uh, Nick. But as far as usage right now, you can use these two widgets in tandem to give you an idea. There's your chart, uh, and there's your screener. Yep, and then here's a little helps. more powerful chart right here as well that you can play with with different uh, indicators. Different and yep, all these do come with the platform. Put some volume in there. Yep, put absolutely. Some bands in there. That kind of good stuff. Yep. So uh, and you know, just so everyone knows, if you guys do have have uh, uh, you know, if you guys want a more formal one-on-one -on -one walkthrough, uh, you can always uh, give us a call or I'm dropping my email into the chat. Do you want to go ahead and get started with that next question? Yeah, sure. Tony? So, Tony, thanks for the question, uh, Tony. Does Pestle save my setting so I can access the same information and preference with Benzing Pro on different computers as long as, Tony, you're logging in from the same account? Then that is no problem at all. You can save your settings. Uh, Mike can close. You know, this is Mike's account that we're looking at. Mike can close. He can, he can close all the windows. He can log out. Uh, when we re-log in, everything's going to be saved there. Um, it can be customization of the widgets that you're using. It can be uh, the kinds of different customization that you're doing to headlines. If you only want rumors to be purple and you only want options to be yellow, you can do that. You can save it. When you log back in on the same computer or on a different computer, it will pop up the same settings for you. So, uh, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, actually, not quite. Well, so on um, Google Chrome, uh, so what this platform is doing is it's saving to locally. So uh, on any Google Chrome, on this computer, when, when I sign into Google Chrome, everything's going to be set up the exact same way. Uh, if I were to go to Firefox and open up Pro, it would be like a, a brand new workspace. Okay, so you got to use the same browser you're saying, right? Yes, but if you have multiple computers, you have to uh, set them all up individually. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Tony, I, I messed that one up. Yeah. Uh, my bad. So, uh, yeah, and like I said, what we're here to help out with as well, if you guys have, you know, watch lists and, and stuff like that that you need help updating, uh, you know, you guys can lean on, on us for that. Just, you know, shoot them over to us either the night before or in the morning, and, and you know, we'll try and get them uploaded in, you know, 15 minutes or, or you know, obviously quicker if possible. But uh, that's some of the help and support that you can have with uh, the Benzinga Pro team. But, yeah, so to, to quickly answer the question, you do have to set them up individually on, on each different computer. But once they are set up, it is good to go. Cool. I might have confused you, Tony, my bad. Yeah, so, uh, you know, thanks, guys. Uh, really appreciate the questions. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Brent, any last words? Uh, go zing or go home. Peace.